Hi, I'm Shiv Ghani. Thanks for checking out the Raised Line interview series in which me and my co-hosts, Dr. Rishi Desai and registered nurse Jana Emil, explore how to strengthen our healthcare system with some amazing leaders in medicine, technology, education, and government. And they have some great advice for people starting careers in healthcare as well. I hope you will watch these highlights and then go listen to the full podcast interview wherever you get your podcasts. Hi, I'm Jana Emil, and today on Raise the Line, I'm happy to be joined by Eve Cuny. Eve is the Director of Environmental Health and Safety at the University of the Pacific, Arthur A. Dugoni School of Dentistry, where she's also an Assistant Dean for Global Relations. She's been a guiding voice in dentistry through this pandemic, counseling a number of professional organizations, including the American Dental Association. Can you first start off by telling us a little bit about yourself and what led you to your interest in healthcare and specifically dentistry and oral health? When I first started college, I thought I wanted to be a teacher. Well, I knew I wanted to be a teacher and I started down that path. And although I loved children and I, I liked teaching, I realized it just wasn't for me. And uh, at the time, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. I had a good friend that was working in dentistry as a dental assistant, and she really loved it. And I said, well, I'll try that for a while and, and see how that goes. So I went to you know, specialized school for that and started working in dental offices and really enjoyed it. And so I thought about going into dentistry, and I didn't really want to do that either. But I did take a job at a dental school as a teaching assistant working um, in the pediatric clinic. So I got to do what I like, be with children, be close to people, and work work in a team environment. As the years went by, I um, continued my education. I took uh, courses in environmental health and safety at UC Berkeley. Um, I received a degree in management um, and a graduate degree in health services administration because along the line, I realized a lot of what I'd like to do was policy development, um, administrative types of, of roles. And, and that's kind of where I find myself today. We have a lot of students in our audience um, and a lot of early career health professionals. What would be, you know, your piece of advice to give to them about, you know, meeting the challenges of this moment and, you know, approaching their career in healthcare? This moment that we're going through, I think it's taught us the importance of being flexible, being um, willing to um, challenge some of your traditional thoughts on the way that things are. I think of, of critical importance is the ability to understand scientific knowledge, be able to look at um, the scientific literature, read it critically, evaluate it, and then understand how it fits into the care of patients and your and your clinical experience. Um, because a lot of people get frustrated when they see things changing. Scientific discovery is a process. And during that process, you have to be ready and willing to say, okay, that was true then, but something else has added to our knowledge that's changed the way we look at this and therefore we need to change. It's always an imperative to provide um, a healthier life for people and to do that you have to be willing to change and be flexible. You have to be able to think critically, evaluate the science and um, also be able to separate it from opinion. Thanks for watching this preview of Raised Line. To hear the full interview, check out all of our podcasts and subscribe to the series please go to osmosis.org forward slash raise the line podcast or listen wherever you get your podcasts.